For the next 10 or 15 minutes, so I will walk with you through the, the journey at Wagner and see, you know, think about the next two years or maybe three years, depending on whether you want to do a full-time or part-time, and what the journey would look like at Wagner, right? All right, so, and first of all, in terms of the curriculum requirement, uh, there are four components uh, in this journey. And first, you need to start with all the school-wide core courses, right? Um, and then you can move, after you finish this part, and you can, you can move to the urban planning uh, and core requirements, right? Uh, either in the domestic side or in the international side. And then after this, there will be electives, right? And then at the end is a capstone. So those are the four components. But this is not just the, pr the procedure, the consequence, right? So they could happen at the same time. You can take the planning core and the school core at the same time, right? So, but I, you know, categorize a lot of courses into these four categories, okay? So, and if you think about the school core requirements, so there are four courses uh, right now in that category. So management and leadership, microeconomics, uh, statistic one, and also the financial management. So we believe those are the requirements, very essential for anybody who wanted to, you know, work for the public sector or nonprofit organizations, right? And besides those school core requirements, there's also a professional experience requirement. So for anybody who do not have the two full-time, two years of full-time experience, and you needed to finish this PER requirement, right? And uh, there is very specific requirement. What can it be categorized as PER? And how many hours you needed to finish? And if you have very specific questions, we can talk about this at the Q&A session, right? But in general, if you do not have two years full-time experience, and there will be this professional experience requirement during you know, your study uh, at Wagner. Right? So moving from the school course, there will be uh, planning, uh, like planning tracks, different planning tracks. So we had three planning tracks. One is called the economic development and the housing. And second one is the environmental infrastructure and the transportation. The third one is the international development planning, right? And uh, starting next year, we wanted to add a more quantitative uh, data analytic track we call the data analytics, right? This is pretty new. So, and for people who wanted to have more data analy analytic skills and a quantitative training, uh, this would be, you know, uh, uh, independent, a special uh, track, right? Starting this fall, okay? Just wanted to let you know. And I group these four tracks into two categories. One is international, one is everything else, right? It's hard to define you know, uh, what they are, but you know, besides international, it's non-international, right? So, because they actually have different course requirements, okay? So let's look at the, you know, the sequence of different courses. Uh, I will start for the non-international tracks, right? Those are three. And again, this is just uh, illustrative, right? Nothing like, uh, you know, you have to do this or nothing uh, this is a typical, it's just a, you know, illustration. And if you plan to finish as a full-time in two years, right, so that year one, year two, and there's a summer, okay, and some courses could be offered in the January term as well, all right? So you can, some courses could be offered in the January term. And altogether, you need to finish 45 credits uh, to graduate, okay? So in the first year, Okay, so these are the planning core requirements, right? Five courses, and these three are the school, right? Core requirements, and remember there are four school core courses, right? So you needed to finish another one sometime maybe in the summer because all four school core requirements they actually have summer, spring, and fall you know, term offerings. So you can actually plan, you know, your, uh, your, your, your schedule, right, across the, these three uh, 
I would say semester or time periods. Okay, and during the summer you can take courses or you know you can just uh, work on your PER or no courses at all. Then in the second year is all planning electives. Okay. The final stage is the capstone, right? It's a one year class, right? One year class, three credits, one year class. So combine all these together, you should be able to finish like two years. Okay. This is for the I would say the non-international tracks, okay, non-international tracks. And for people who wanted to specialize in international planning, uh, the, you know, the required core courses in the planning field would be a little bit different. So you will take the international institution, government, and international development, I think. This is a specialized course for the international track. Plus the DDP is another core requirement for this track, right? So again, you have five decentralized uh, development planning. That's the you know uh, the, the the course title. So these five are the planning core requirements. And again, school-wide core requirements. You can take one maybe in the summer, and all planning electives, and plus the capstone in the second year, right? Okay. So the planning core is a little bit different, but otherwise is the same, okay? Right? And if you wanted to do like a part-time, for example, uh, most time people can finish within three years, right? Within three years, because there are summer offering, there are January offering, you can actually plan, you know, all the courses within three years, right? Finish within three years, okay? So if you have a very detailed question, on you know, the part-time schedule, we can talk about that at the Q&A session, right? Okay. So think about the planning electives. Uh, we have many electives offered at the school, uh, within the school. Um, so for the complete list, you can check the, you know, the school website and the different tracks. Um, but you can also take uh, courses from other units at NYU, right, other schools. So those courses are categorized, I would say, into two categories. One is pre-approved. Those are the courses our students tend to take, right? We have, you know, we have uh, pro approved these courses uh, in advance. Then you can take those courses. You don't need to actually file a petition uh, and request, and you can just uh, take those courses. But for other courses, not pre-approved, you need to actually apply to file a petition, right? And we need to take a look at those courses and make sure it meets the requirement of the, you know, of Wagner. Then you can take those courses, okay? So there's an approval process and a new approval is needed for those courses, okay? And people tend to take courses, for example, from the engineering school, from the real estate institute, uh, from the marine institute of Ur Ur urban management and some other, you know, NYU schools or centers or institutes. Okay. And internship is a big component in your education experience at Wagner. So we are not only talking about the internship over the summer, because many people actually uh, do their internship in the fall semester, in the spring semester. So normally people can have multiple internship opportunities during, you know, your study. Uh, 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 period at Wagner and the multi multiple internship uh, matters. Uh, multiple internship matters uh, to your, you know, basically the job um, search in the future. So Wagner offer uh, this Alan Shang Experience Fund, right, to help you fund uh, the internship opportunities uh, from the government agencies or nonprofit organizations because many of them do not have a paid internship. So this is actually a very good, uh, you know, financial, uh, like, you know, resource offered by the Wagner, right? It's a 5,000 stipend and 50 of them. So you can apply uh, before, you know, the summer to get this fund. Um, and so there are many internship opportunities, all right? I just li listed some of them. Some are from the international organizations, some are from the New York City, some are from outside New York City. So our students tend to have many internship you know, experience before the graduation. Okay. All right, and the last major experience is capstone. 
right, is a big part of your education experience uh, uh, here. And the capstone is a one-year project right, with a real client. Um, and I list uh, some of these clients here um, for the people, you know, for students who wanted to do the domestic planning, right, the three tracks, uh, and also for students who wanted to do the international, right, the clients will be a little bit different. Right, those are just uh, uh, you know a sample of clients uh, in the U.S. right with a topic very domestic right. Those are the capstone projects title, and you can take a look. Okay, and you can find a more complete list from the Wagner website, by the way. Okay, and these are international, right? The World Bank, uh, the UNDP program, and the United Nations UN Habitats. Uh, so we have plenty of you know uh, opportunities from uh, either international organizations or from agencies outside the U.S. Okay, right. And you will <laughs> hear about the capstone a lot uh, if you you know during your uh, two years or three years of stay at Wagner. Um, and think about you know career. Uh, like uh, the future of the, of the jobs, right, after graduation. Um, I, in general, I feel the Wagner graduates and MUP uh, graduates, uh, they did fairly well in the job market, right, not only in New York, but also outside of New York as well. And those are the, some examples, right, where people actually work after graduation. Um, private sector, right, there is, you know, a very important private sector in planning in New York City. Uh, and also all the government agencies and institutions. The majority of our students work for governments, right, work governments. It's different from the MPA uh, cohort of students. And the nonprofit organizations as well, right? A significant portion work for nonprofit. Um, and if you wanted to work in the international development fields, international uh, development agency like World Bank, UNDP program, and USAID, and World Bank Institute, and also many of the NGOs who wanted to do international developments, international planning in the developing countries, right? So the opportunities are also plenty in those fields, right? So that's just a very quick, like uh, 10 minutes overview uh, of your possible journey at Wagner, right, in the two or three years. Um, so with that, maybe we can have one Q&A session and any questions regarding the information I just you know, mentioned here.